Okay, hey guys, please forgive the background music. Um, my husband is actually a music producer. He's actually producing some music. I wanted to show you guys what I am doing. Um, yes, this is very wrinkled. I just got that out the towel, um, towel area. I need to put it in the um, dryer, but anyway, um, I purchased this. I'm going to be making a pillow. Uh, what I did was I purchased a Cotton Touch pillow protector. I got all this stuff from Walmart. And I wanted to find something that had a zip on it because this is what I'm going to put the actual fill inside of. It is called the Original Poly Fill. This is what I'm going to be filling the pillow with. It's really, really big and really long. And I was about to get the smaller one, but my husband was like, you know what? You might as well get the big one. So I got the bigger one. I am going to be making a pillow, um, just like a regular pillow. Because every time I have, um, I, I purchase pillows, I spent as well, um, spent probably about... $70 on a pillow and I cannot find a pillow that I like so I decided to make my own pillow I did it once before um, this is what I have downstairs I put this on the uh, couch um, I filled this I can't this actually came as like a pillowcase I didn't know what to do with it like at all and so my mom told me to stuff it with this poly filling so anytime you see something <laughs> I don't know if you ever purchased this from Facebook I was like so excited to get it I thought it came like this now you have to stuff it and what I'm gonna do soon too you guys I'm actually about to take this stuffing out and I'm about to wash this because it does need to be washed now um, but anyway, I wanted to show you guys that. Let's start it. Okay, you guys, what I'm going to do first is you need to have, again, a pillowcase. You also need to get that pillow protector, and you also need this. You will probably need, like, um, like maybe something to stick the, the filling in with, like maybe like a broke hanger or something like that. Let me get a hanger, y'all. And again, you guys, I am in my guest room. Okay, so just a regular hanger. Just so just in case some of that feeling don't get um, put inside there. And what I'm going to do, y'all, just open it up just a little bit. And you just take filling out. Try to not break it up as much because you want to try to keep it together as much as possible because you don't want to have too, you know, too much little pieces in there. And what you're going to do, you guys, is you're going to just fill this. I'll open it up this. And I got this from Walmart over there where the protector sheets and stuff is and just keep filling it all the way up until you can't get it filled anymore and you fill it to how you want to fill it but I am eyeing it because I'm kind of making it I want it to be bigger and thicker than this so and even if you want to you know what I might do y'all I actually might I'm gonna see how it does you guys when I put all the filling in here how comfortable it is because if it's not y'all I actually might add it to a, my pillow because all I really need is just a little bit more stuffing so we'll see so let me go ahead and fill this up and let me see how this go okay and you can stuff teddy bears with this you can use this stuff you guys for a lot of different reasons so try you some new arts and craft things and as you're putting the filling in kind of give it a shake because you won't want to just fill it up too much and you won't even move okay i just know guys i have spent so much money on pillows that don't work that's why i decided to just try to make my own and see how it goes and like i said you guys if you don't want to put all this inside of this pillow you actually can take your favorite pillow and put it inside of your protector and then put the stuffing in there too so you have your pillow and your protector in there i'm gonna do both and see which one i like better and it's all up to you and what comfort level you like Yes, I most definitely say get the bigger bag. And you'd rather have too much of this than not enough. And it's not itchy. Because usually I'm itchy with stuff like this. It's not itchy at all. Okay, so now I'm going to go in and zip it. Let's see what we got. And the reason why I got something with zips, so I don't got to worry about it coming undone and being in my face. The zip going to leave it in here nice and tight. Okay, just play with it a little bit. Get it to your liking. You don't want it too hard and not too soft. Just move it around. And if you want, 
you can actually add a little bit more, but I think I'm going to do it just like this. And there you go. You have it. You have your new pillow. And I'm telling you guys, I have spent so much money on other pillows, and I know this pillow is going to be perfect because I can put it to my liking. How thick I want it, how thin I want it. So hopefully, guys, that helped you out. If you have any questions, let me know. Now I'm going to put the actual pillowcase on. And like I said, the reason why I used the um, protector so I don't have to worry about that stuff coming out. And I'm telling you, some of these pillows, you guys, are so expensive and you wind up getting them in hate. So this helps you to put it the thickness that you like it to be. And just give it a roll. Everything together. And here we have it, y'all. A comfortable pillow. Hopefully that helped. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. I'll chat with you guys later. Bye. And look, you guys, I have a lot left. I think I'm going to wash my old pillow and I'm going to stuff it again with some nice new stuffing. And there you have it. The unit is called Polyfeel. And you can get in the arts and crafts section. All this at Walmart. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Bye, guys.